Hello, YouTube fans. Omar here once again, the Knife Shark, with another discontinued Kershaw knife. And guess what? Surprise, it's Ken Onion again. <clears throat> We're going Ken Onion crazy. What I have here in front of me is the Kershaw Cyclone Knives. I love these guys. These are so cool. <clears throat> I can't wait to show them to you. Some of you guys are probably familiar with these already. This is the Kershaw Cyclone 1630 and the Kershaw Mini Cyclone 1635 GRY for gray. And these are Sandvik steel knives designed by Ken Onion. Once again, silver boxes. Nothing spectacular. It's just a box, both of them. Uh, there is a difference, though, real quickly. If you notice, take a look. One of them's got the American flag on them. And this is basically for anybody that's into maybe considering getting a Kershaw collection. Uh, this is the one with the, uh, with the American flag on them. And this is the one without the American flag. This was the first generation box of Kershaw knives. They all came like this without the American flag. And then Kershaw changed over to American flag version. All their knives that were made in the USA. You only saw this box if the knife was made in the USA at that time. Between 2000, uh, maybe, maybe 1998, sorry, and 2009, which is when they stopped doing the, uh, the silver gray boxes on those. Uh, they then went over... And went to this beautiful red one that you guys know today. So a little quick, a little quick info on the boxing, how they did that. So let's take a quick look at the Kershaw Cyclone. Why is it called the Cyclone? It's not because of these little circles. I'll tell you. This is the cool part about this knife. Check it out, because I want to get that out of the way. This is a dual action knife, guys. Dual action. This is the kind of stuff you don't see on knives anymore. ZT uh, does experimental stuff uh, once in a while. They got that uh, 055 ZT knife uh, by Gus Caccini, which has got that hidden flipper on it. And I actually have a Kershaw knife that even, even mimics that. I'll do that in another video. Uh, but you don't see stuff like this on knives anymore. So let's get into it. It's a dual action knife, both of these. Okay. If you notice, the knife is manual, right? Plain old manual knife. But what if I feel like I want to have a spring assist? Guess what, folks? In the middle of the day, for some stupid reason, if I want to have a spring-assisted knife, I could have one at any time. All I got to do is pop open the knife, turn it over to the spine, look at that little button, Ooh, power, power. Check that out. There's a little button on there. It's not a button. It's actually, it's a switch. It's a switch. So let me show you how this works. I got a manual knife, right? Manual. Now it's 2 o'clock. I want to change flavors, man. I want a spring assist. Fine. You got it. Spring assist. Is that crazy or what? Ken Onion, man, coming up with these weird innovations for no reason at all, all, all except to make us knife-hungry people insane. And that's what this knife does. Made me crazy when I first got it. The Kershaw, I don't have to do it on the, on the mini gray Cyclone, but it's also got the switch, as you can see. Take a look at that. It says they're on and off. And I love that the knife is white or gray colored. You know, makes it a little bit different flavor. So, yeah, spring assist. So, in the middle of the day, all of a sudden, I don't want a spring assist. I want, an, I want a manual knife again. Take the switch, push it down. Now, check it out. Now, you got a manual guy. He's manual. One thing about this knife, and I, I don't know if it's the same with all the Cyclones, but this one is so smooth. This knife is so smooth, I can actually flick it like a spider cone knife. Look. Middle finger flick that puppy. Check that out. That's how smooth it is. Which brings another point up. Is it really necessary to talk about quality uh, the way we do with the premium knives, with the smoothness, 
you know, of the knife and the way that it deploys. Do we really do that with these sort of, not budget folders, but middle-of-the-line folders? Um, not really, I don't think. I mean, it's not really an issue. Because you didn't, you didn't shell out the bucks for that. You shelled out the bucks for a good budget knife, which is what these are. Um, and that's what Kershaw had, was doing. Nice budget knives. Um, so that's it. This is the Kershaw Cyclone. There's really not much more to talk about. That was the only reason why I wanted to, to bring it up. They're liner lock knives, as you can see, when they're busy switching between being a manual and a spring assist. Um, they are liner locks. All aluminum scales. Mm. Kershaw Cyclone. Really nice blade shape. I don't know my blade shapes too well. If somebody wants to uh, tell me what kind of blade shape this is, I think it's not a drop point. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, if, if any of you guys want to uh, put your comments below on this video as what kind of blade shape this is, I appreciate it. I have That's something I still have to learn of the blade shapes. Because um, I get so obsessed with, you know, the way the knife feels in my hand and how it's going to be in my collection. I don't really learn everything about these knives that I should. Uh, it's got a nice pocket clip on there. Both pocket clips are the same on the knives. And that's basically it. Kershaw Cyclone spring-assisted slash manual. This is the Kershaw Cyclone 1630, the Kershaw Mini Cyclone 1635 GRY, designed by Ken Onion. And that is it. Omar saying goodbye and say goodbye to the Kershaw Cyclones. And I will return with yet another discontinued Kershaw knife. Omar signing off the Knife Shark. Happy hunting, all of you guys. Get out there and get your knives. Over and out. Thank you.